Have you ever thought, oh, why is dentistry a five-year degree? If so, make sure you keep watching this video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Faris, and I'm a third-year dental student currently studying in London. And today I thought it would be interesting to go through the actual content of the dental degree, because I know a lot of people are thinking, why is it a five-year degree? All you learn about is the teeth and the mouth. So hopefully this video will give you a bit of insight, especially if you are interested in dentistry, and it will kind of show you the structure of the degree. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I think I should say is that every single dental degree and every single university teaches dentistry slightly differently. However, the core principles always stay the same. So just be aware that when I'm talking about the dental degree, I'm talking about how I've been taught at my university. Other places may vary slightly. So I guess we should start with what you learn in your first year. So in your first year of dentistry, I kind of just describe it as advanced A-level biology, because that's kind of what it is in my opinion at least. A lot of the content is centered around biomedicine and biochemistry, and there's not that much anatomy or physiology that you learn in your first year. So I remember I was learning about things like cells or membrane receptors, etc. It wasn't really anything teeth related. And I'll be honest, a lot of the content that I learned in my first year, I don't really use that much now, but it's really important because the whole point of your first year is to ensure everyone's at the same level of knowledge and understanding when it comes to basic biology. We did also learn about the main systems of the body. So here's where you start to see that we don't just learn about teeth. We were also learning about the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system. I remember we also did some prosections. So this is slightly different from dissections. So in a prosection, the bodies are already cut up for you. Whilst in a dissection, you're cutting the body yourself. But the main purpose of these prosection sessions was for us to see how the different parts of the body work and how our systems interact. And we also had to do histology, which I absolutely hated and I still hate to this day. And I think it's one of the worst things that we have to learn in dental school. So just to summarize the content and the things I learned in my first year, it was a lot of biomedicine. There was quite a lot about the systems of the body and there wasn't really that much about teeth, which is interesting because you think it's a dental degree and you'd learn about teeth from the second you get into university but we didn't really cover that much dental anatomy until second year so that's a great segue into the content that I learned in my second year so this is what I'd call the teeth year because in second year you kind of get thrown right into it when it comes to learning a lot of clinical knowledge and a lot of teeth knowledge in my first week I had a clinical skill session where we had to cut up a tooth and look at the anatomy and this kind of built the basis of second year so as you progress through the year you do a lot of clinical skill sessions whereby you do different fillings with different filling materials things such as composite and a amalgams, which I'm sure you guys have heard of a lot, and other filling materials like GIC and IRM. Alongside this, you also had to learn the theory behind all these different clinical procedures. So we had to learn about the interaction between the dentine enamel and the bonding agents we would use. We had to learn how the filling material actually adapted to the tooth. And it was kind of like an integrated learning system where we'd have tutorials going over the theory side of things. And then we'd have our practical sessions where we'd actually apply the knowledge and do the procedures on model teeth. And we did these clinical sessions throughout the entire year. And on top of these clinical sessions and tutorials and seminars, we also had our lectures that we had to do. The main things that we were learning about were things like pathology, microbiology, and immunology. In this, we went over things like the immune response, how we deal with wound healing, things like this. And when we were learning about wound healing and microbiology, etc., it wasn't things that were just directed to the oral region. We were learning about different epithelium in the body, the mucous membranes, etc. On top of this, we also learned a lot of anatomy. And when it came to anatomy, this was more head and neck orientated. So we had to go over things like the cranial nerves, which I'm sure every single dental student can rehearse off by heart. And just to prove that dental students know their cranial nerves really well, I'm going to give a little challenge to all the dental students watching. What nerve supplies taste to the anterior two thirds of the tongue? Write your answers down below in the comments and I'll see if you got it right. So yeah, we did have to learn a lot about the head and neck anatomy. So going over the different muscles of the face, muscles of the neck, the different innervations, blood supply, arteries, veins, all of that. So there was a lot of content and you do need to know in quite a lot of detail because it is clinically relevant knowledge. So second year is quite a content heavy year. There are other modules that we covered, but they're not as interesting. I'd say the main things that we had to be aware of in that year were things to do with head and neck anatomy, clinical knowledge when it came to actually dealing with the teeth, dental anatomy as well. So knowing about the teeth and the gums and of course, pathology, microbiology and immunology. So that whole thing to do with the immune system and our immune response. Now moving on to my current year, which is my third year of dental school. So in this year, it's meant to be clinics, clinics, clinics. We're meant to be seeing quite a few patients doing basic treatments on them with supervision, of course. However, because of COVID, a lot of this has been canceled and I actually haven't seen my first patient yet. Instead, this clinical time with patients has been replaced with clinical skills. So sessions that we do on dummies, which are still useful, but they're not as good because obviously you're not seeing the patients. But within these sessions, we've done things like crown preps, we've done veneers, we're doing stuff like prosthodontics, which relate to making dentures and of course if we're doing all this clinical practice we don't just do it randomly we actually have to learn the theory behind the things as well on top of that however we have more content we have to cover so this year we started an oral surgery module here we learn about different surgical procedures learning about suturing learning about extractions the different techniques etc additionally we've also been given another module talking about human disease now this one seems the least dentistry related because it's basically just a load of human diseases and we have to find out how they interact with the body the different drugs that you need to use and the 
only real dental part of it is how it manifests in the mouth and how it affects the oral cavity. And it is really interesting to see how systemic diseases and things that you wouldn't really think would affect the mouth that much have a massive, massive effect on your oral cavity. And that's probably something that I didn't expect to learn in dental school. Like, I knew I had to know about diseases and how they impact the mouth, but there's quite a lot of detail and quite a lot of things you need to be aware of. And the final big module we've really covered in this third year is dental materials. So we learn about why we use certain types of metals for dentures or why we use this type of material for a filling. And it's quite a lot of detail. There's also a little bit of physics involved, things like stress and strain graphs, being able to interpret elasticity and yield points, and being aware of the different physical and chemical properties of the materials that we use in the mouth. I never really thought that I needed to know the different compositions of metals and the different chemical and covalent bonds that are available in this particular compound. But that is part of the degree and it is something interesting to learn about. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about dentistry, make sure you check out this playlist over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.